this vlog is coming from beautiful Costa Brava in Spain we are staying in the bigger area and we chose to come here because back when we were looking at where we might want to go for our summer holiday we um, did a little Google search and we found so many beautiful beaches in this particular area and we just thought yes that looks like the place for us and so far it has not disappointed the scenery and the beaches are just absolutely stunning and I'm feeling filming this from our balcony of our villa and as you can see the view we've got from our balcony is just absolutely incredible and we sit here every day and have dinners and lunches and it's just lovely. The food has been amazing too and I'm going to link below to every single place we've visited so you can have a look if you're planning to come here yourself. really good if um, your children don't like sand and waves and beaches is to drink three quarters of a bottle of wine before you go to the beach it makes it all a lot more cheerful did everyone enjoy the beach yes did you have a lovely time yes. are you lying Time to wake up, buddy. Gonna be dinner soon. Hello. You okay? We have just been to a medieval town called, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Pals, P-A-L-S. Um, it was so beautiful. It was all like really old stone buildings and loads of greenery and like pot plants just amazing for photos um, and just for kind of walking around and having a potter. Quite small but very very pretty really clear waters um, lovely 
and warm for swimming and just really nice and I can't think of any other nice adjectives to <laughs> describe it. Invigorating, I, fresh. I just keep saying everything's really beautiful. As you, yes, very good word. Sam, I can't remember the name of this town again. What's this town called? Erasmus <laughs> Teleta. Erasmus Teleta. Jadoffi supermarket. Where he Mate. likes to visit. Jadoffi. Everybody say Jadoffi. All hail. All hail. We are not worthy. I know we just went past Jadoffi. How many times a day does Dada like to go to Jadoffi? Twice. All the days. As, as many times as he can. Look at this, just incredible, so beautiful. This is the reason we chose to come to the Costa Brava because we saw all of these sorts of beaches on Google Images and thought, yeah, that looks good. We have come to another beach today, Satuna, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong again. I'll just put all the names um, as captions so you can just see what I'm on about even if I'm pronouncing it terribly wrong. I just want to show you the view because it is absolutely magnificent. We've come up to the cliff top because we're actually going round to a little secret cove that you can only access this way. This is where we're headed. This is the little secret cove which I have absolutely no chance in hell of pronouncing properly so I'm going to caption it right now. There's literally about four people down there and we're about to go and invade their piece with our noisy large family. boys off on a boat trip um, I couldn't really be bothered to sit on a boat for two hours and try and stop Otto from coming overboard so we are heading into the little square here in Lefranc and I'm gonna try and find a coffee and hope that Otto has a little sleep we're on a boat going into caves we're about to go in the caves now oh I think we're trapped Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. Going for a little cliff top walk. It's so beautiful up here, and you can see for miles down below, and it's just lovely. Come to Cap Roig Botanical Gardens, it's just so beautiful. I keep saying that about everything around here.
recommend this area of Costa Brava to? Um, oh. Sort of grumpy, loveless couples where the kids have left and they have no love left or sort of passion in their relationships. So they spend their lives going to restaurants and frowning at other people's children. And this is why he doesn't feature on the vlogs very often. That and really amorous Italian, like young Italian couples that want to frottage on the beach. I that word in a while. <laughs> frottage. <laughs> That's a good word. Yeah, it's a good word. <clears throat> okay, I, I will answer the question seriously, shall I? You can chip in if you have any opinions. I would recommend um, the Gert area for anybody who likes really beautiful beaches and scenery, good traditional Spanish food and fresh seafood. Um, people who like history, there's a lot of medieval villages and castles around here. Um, and people with young children who don't want to um, have to do too many long car, car journeys and have everything really close by. Uh, we did also say, didn't we, that the uh, beaches were very, like, like pretty kid friendly. Like, they're, because they're all in coves, it's quite good for easy swimming and they're not massively shelved. So it doesn't get super deep, super quick. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good point. We're finding it really good for um, young children because um, the waves, the sea is basically flat as a pancake. There aren't really any waves, there's no currents. So it's really easy to take them swimming in the sea. of our trip um, and normally at this point I get a little bit sad that we've got to go home but actually I feel like after over three weeks on the road I'm kind of ready for it and ready for my home comfort. Today we visited the Sagrada Familia which was just absolutely amazing and now we're about to have some tapas for dinner and then we've got a really early flight tomorrow so it's going to be early night tonight. Thank you for following along with our travels and I'm going to put all the places we went to in the description box below and I'll also link to any blog posts that I write um, on the topic of Costa Brava and this holiday. The last couple of weeks have been really lovely. It's very noisy isn't it? <laughs> A load of motorbikes in the background. The last couple of weeks have been so lovely and it's been amazing for the boys and for me to have two solid weeks with Sam because he travels a lot with work so just to have this much time together has been really really lovely. Mm -hmm. 